Hey guys, what's up? So, you saw my previous video, and you know that I upgraded my main printer here to a SKR 1.4. And I took the SKR 1.3 board out, and I'm going to put it in my old printer bot. So if you're new to this channel, uh, this is a printer bot, simple metal, and had it for probably four years, probably. Not sure, three, four years, five years, I can't remember, but... Um, so a few modifications to it. Right now I'm running an SKR 1.1 board. 32-bit, trinamic 2208 drivers. Uh, I'm running the uh, dot bit, or like Bontech knockoff extruder with a uh, VSEX hot end. And a Logitech C310. And that's a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, running Octoprint. And then I also have like a TFT35 by Big Tree Tech. So, it should be a pretty straight swap since I already have the SKR 1.1 board in there. They're the exact same layout. So my adapter plate will work. Um, just kind of flip it over and uh, get it going. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that I'm actually running a... Stock, these things actually came with inductive sensors. This is actually a capacitive sensor. And I'm running an optocoupler to uh, have an interface with the board. Alright, that's the I mean, bottom side of the printer. That's a 5015 fan, and this provides cooling to the, um, it's actually, it's a little stiff. Check that out. But that provides cooling to the uh, Trinamic drivers. And it's an optocoupler right there. And an interview video about that. It's pretty cool. So that allows me to actually uh, provide the sensor with 12 volts, but then only send 5 volts back to the uh, end stop. All right. All right. So that's a camera wire. So I'll take the four screws off. Plug it USB. Uh, and so if you want to know more about the uh, original conversion I did, I made another video about that. The conversion from uh, you know the old 8-bit printer board to the uh, SKR 1.1 board. So it's got to pull this board out, and I should have everything labeled. And all right, so just me swapping this thing out, just pull the connectors out. I think it's undone. They should just pop right out of there. Oh, power stuck. Just coming out. Cool. And the SKR 1.1 board is going to go on my laser cutter here. I'm building. Alright, now I have the board back in. I'm just going to start replacing connectors. Look at that. It's LCD. I just think they got to put them back in the way they were right now. So, Alright, got the motherboard back in there. Put the fan back on. I right, got the firmware loaded on there. Um, I definitely prefer the uh, Atom IDE over the Adorno IDE. Uh, I definitely prefer making these uh, bin files than having to use like the old 8-bit uh, Atmel Amiga controller. You had a... Oh, that was a headache. So, um, that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to use this SKR 1.1 board for the laser cutter. Alright, alright. So, all right, get the firmware in there. Alright, let's put this thing in. I do have a fan problem, cooling fan back there, but it actually will go away. Make sure the fan's spinning down below. The 5015 fan. Okay, let's see what it is. Alright, but this is not powering on. What's up with that? Alright, so yeah, I do need to get the extruder fan fixed, but... Oh yeah, also, when I talk about uh, when I copy the configuration files over, I'm not actually copying the whole file over, the configuration H and the configuration advance that H. I'm basically just going from word to word and copying it that way. Not, because they actually make changes to those files to add or change new features. And if you just copy your old file over it, you can overwrite stuff and to change things around. So I don't want to do that. Alright. Got a problem. Seems like my Z is reversed. That's weird. Uh, I forgot to take the stall guard jumpers off. Uh, I got some pretty odd stuff going on here. Watch. I gotta need to bring up the current on that, that Z motor. But then look where it hums. It's, it's humming way out here. So the, Bed settings are not correct for some reason, I think. 
Gotta check my bed settings. The actual, like, it, it's obviously looks a lot bigger than it should. You know, if it's coming over here, the things have to center the bed. Alright, so at first I thought the bed dimensions were off, but then I started using my little prober, and it just seemed like this thing was actually commanding too many E steps or steps. So, um, let me show you real quick. I guess you can't see that. Let me try to put it here. So I can count it. So instead of going 10 millimeters, it feels like it's going 20 millimeters. So um, it's actually producing double the amount of steps as it should. Alright, I took a look at that in the modeling fig, but yeah, it only should be moving 10 millimeters if I have a set to. But like I said, it's going 20 millimeters. Alright, I'm not sure if this is going to run my drivers or not. So I'm actually going to switch them over to my other ones. I know that work. I have two sets of 2208s. Mm, micro setting 256. It should be 16. No fault. Alright. Ooh, air response, bad response. Let's see that. Alright, I have to take a look at that. So there's something wrong with the drivers. All right, so now that I have the um, UART working with the 2208 drivers, everything seems to be working now. I'm getting the right amount of steps, so I'm actually getting 10 millimeters instead of 20 millimeters commanded. All right, ready to do a test print? Let's see what's up and do a calibration cube. All right, back in business with the printer bot and the SK-1.3 board. So I had a quite, a, quite a few issues, I guess, with it getting going. Uh, the mechanic of the printer has always been fine, but the board, I uh, had a bad MOSFET on uh, Heater 0, so I swapped it in Marlin uh, with uh, heater, heater 1. You have a dual extruder set up on this uh, board, so that MOSFET was actually still fine, and I make sure we had a video about that. But And also, my uh, 2208 drivers had bad UARDs. Where they weren't soldered correctly, so I had to figure that out, too. So Cool. Yeah, these printers are awesome, man. These things were way ahead of their time. These are like one of the... They just were, they were so well built, you know what I mean? And I've done upgrades to it. I'm 32-bit, obviously, and I'm on a BMV extruder, but... You know, but it's... You know, when it comes to, like, small printing, these things are just... I, because they're, they're so small, you don't get a lot of jerk. Um, you know, compared to, like, these larger printers, you know, like the ones with the big beds, like this, the big Y-axis, you know, the big heated bed going back and forth, it's hard to control jerk with that thing. But, so if I have to print something small, then I, I use this printer. Alright guys, cool.